Hey, what's going on, guys? It's everyone's favorite anime and manga channel, Los Takus. My name is Eric. And I'm JT. And today, we are going to be discussing chapter 1050, the, I guess, maybe, maybe, maybe the finale of the battle of the war. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. We'll, I don't know. What do you think, JT? It's the end. Is we gotta move end? on, bro. You think so? We gotta move oh, on. Oh my! So we're gonna get into it, and I'm saying I, I think maybe JT's like we gotta move on, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Chief. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. It starts off where it left off at 10:49, which was Luffy hitting the crap out of Kaido with his Bajong gun, which AKA Monkey King gun, right in his face, right in the kisser, my guys, just boom, knocked the dragon out of him, literally. <laughs> As he was going and plummeting through the ground, he went back into his regular form. He was a dragon. When he got punched, there's a big hole made by a dragon. Oda puts a literal map of what happened to Kaido. Specifically, this is what we needed because in the podcast that you'll never see, we're arguing about what what exactly did happen because it looked kind of weird. Yeah, it was just drawn weird. Yeah, we so. couldn't really tell. We couldn't really tell where exactly he landed, but it was cleared up to us in this chapter exactly where he actually did land and land he did not as of yet so oda has a drawing and it's the land and there's two holes there's like drilled holes but they're not drilled they're pierced through yeah one big, big mom, mom and the other kaido now if you don't remember what happened to big mom remember she got damned punk straight through onigashima and not only that she took some bombs with her so i think if it was just a damn punk i think she would have just like hit wherever she landed yeah. but because she took bombs with her the force of those explosions made her go through even further also law law actually stab kept growing yeah but it was the the damn <laughs> oh well his sword yeah. is, is like not it as made, big yeah yeah i don't think it was big enough to like make it her go through i just think it was literally the explosion of the oh, or the bombs yeah. the force of the bombs and I guess it took her a while because Kaido caught up. <laughs> well, in manga time, we don't really know. Yeah. It kind of just been like boop, 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 back and forth. Either way, the, the Kaido and Luffy were still fighting for a good while. They were. When Kaido's all like, they took out Lin Lin. And then that happened oh, yeah, quite yeah. a bit of time ago. That's true. And so they're both going through the ground. And then there's this magma. He's like, right here, you see this little bowl right here? This little whole circle right here? This is all magma, bro. Yeah. So they took the train to downtown, bro. <laughs> the the and, L train, bro. And if y'all forget, remember, um, Wano is based on Japan, real life. So they do have like a mountain. I don't know if it's supposed to be Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji still kind of looks volcano. like it. Yeah. yeah. So it is an active volcano. So it looked it looked like it. Maybe based off. Of yeah, but th there is a reason why there is lava there. Like this ain't an ass pool. This it's is there. set up. Yeah, it's, it's been geographically it's been there so. yeah then we get uh luffy's already falling who's gonna save luffy <laughs> of course and we get the answer here it's yamato yamato, yamato screaming uh, for luffy she has her hands up he's falling to the ground if he actually hit the ground i don't think he would have died he's rubber <laughs> nah he would have died it would have hurt <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah right before he was like right close call she shh yeah baseball slide also not in gear fifth he transformed back as soon as and he, he doesn't look super injured or anything he doesn't like that. which i was really surprised about too i was like bro like you took on a lot of damage <laughs> what if he's actually dead well <laughs> yamato's expression she laughs yeah and then she's all like you guys are amazing i can't believe y'all did it yeah she wasn't like oh my god luffy's cold he's yeah. dead <laughs> yeah so he's he's still alive and yamato confirmed crew member now because she saved she the saved captain's Luffy. life. She saved the captain's life by catching him. Just like Robin Confirmed. Did. What has what has that rabbit done for y'all? Nothing. Nothing. Get carrot out of here. Nobody cares about carrot. Carrot's journey still continues. Ugh. No, it ends in Wano. She's just gonna stay behind. Gonna stay back. Not stay behind. She's gonna leave and go back to Zo. Like uh, that's it. Whoa. Well, carrot. Uh, Onigashima. Uh, Zo is there. Oh, Zo is there. <laughs> 
or all the minks just stay on Wano yeah. to help clean up or something. I don't know, bro. But yeah. Uh, so we cut straight to another scene, which is back with the people celebrating. And this time it's specifically Toko. Mm -hmm. Or uh, as people know her, old Toko. And she's talking with that old man who has that, uh, what's it called? Tengu. The Tengu. Mask. Mask. Yeah. yeah. And basically she starts talking about her father. Mm -hmm. Which she, is Yasui, if y'all don't remember the guy that got killed. <laughs> yep. The smiling dude that died. And then she asks, like, hey, I heard someone say that my dad knew that he was, they were hunting him down. And he was someone important. And they were going to kill him, but he still turned himself in. Why did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> the questions a child must ask. And the dude said, like, well, he died so we can have a future. He died so that you can have a better future. And she's all like, oh, so he died for me. Like, oh, okay. Well, then let me change the message because they were uh, floating lanterns. They were doing the lantern fest. That was well, the end of the festival when they're doing the lanterns up in the sky and they're writing messages so. yeah so there's little lanterns with little boats and each one of them have uh, messages, messages written so whenever orochi was killed he's all like get rid of that bad orochi or whenever kaido was defeated every time someone was defeated or killed and it was a villain they had like people already had messages yeah in there and that was a nice little touch I like yeah that. that they came true and so with uh toko that uh she she felt different and she had written the message already so she changes it and she crosses it out well, it said, Dad, I want to see you again or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it said. And she crossed it out and said, thank you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and here is where the chapter's title comes into play, where that old man with the Tengu mask, I forget his name. He looks at it, what she wrote, and it's just, just like he did. Tears, bro. He's all like, that's why we do this, bro. Yeah. That's why he died with honor for this moment. We're like for that is the greatest honor that a samurai can have full circle bro full circle thank you oda that was sweet so then we cut to momonosuke right he's in the ground he's like wasted he's like he's, wasted. he's, like, he's, like, tired. he's still in his dragon form so he's still in his dragon form but him summoning all the the dragon clouds uh he's uh he now named himself puff the magic dragon <laughs> No, but uh, because he safely landed Onigashima on the ground, that took up a bunch of energy for him to summon the dragon clouds. And uh, now he's just, as JT said, he's wasted on them. He's like, so, uh, uh, I'm tired, bro. And then we cut inside with uh, where, where, where Onigashima's at. And it's Nekomamushi who's looking far, right? Yeah. And then he's like, oh, well, that does it. And he screams up down below where all the fodder at. Kaido just got punched straight through the ground by Luffy. We win! <laughs> And then everybody's just celebrating. Yeah. I like that Beppo was like all over Law and he's like, <laughs> get off me, <laughs> kid. Like, he's like, Captain. Like, get off me, uh, You got Nami and Otama celebrating. <laughs> and then we cut to uh, the other crew, the rest of the crew. Yeah. Uh, Usopp, he's all like, Chopper, we need help with these two. And then Frankie with Zoro was like, Zoro's Carrie. not OPD his Carrie. eyes. <laughs> So he's carrying, so Frank is carrying Zoro on his right and he's carrying Kiemon on his left. And he's like, yo, we need help, bro. And Zoro's Chopper's, dead. Chopper's all like, there's too much, bro. I, I can't. And then the doctor from the Minx. Yeah, the Minx. Ah, I forget his name. But the then, Mink Doctor. Yeah, the Mink Doctor. The goat. <laughs> so he's all like, I'm here to help, bro. Him and his uh, nurse who assisted Chopper every once in a while. Chopper side piece right there. So they haven't declared like, Zoro dead. We don't know. But the fact that Frank is saying he's not opening his eyes, that's funny. Yeah. So bad boy, he dead. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> not sorry, bad boy. We told you, bro. He dead, bro. He's He was looking at uh, Brooke's brother, bro, right in the face. <laughs> After that, we cut back to Mononosuke. So he tells Zunesha, like, hey, you still there? He's like, I'm here, Mononosuke. He's like, well, I don't think after all of this, I still think that I'm not going to open up Wano. He's, but he specifically said, I, I won't open. I won't open up Wano just yet. I don't know what got him to say that, but he still feels like there might be a threat. Oh, that is guaranteed. Think about it. We just defeated two Yonkos. And it happened here in Wano. Mm -hmm. The world government is going to be like, that's, that's what a I'm dangerous thinking. place. Yeah. So that's why he's all like, borders still closed, bro, because yeah. there's still a threat out there to my country. So, and that threat being the world government. Yeah. So, so that's a smart play. That's that is a smart, smart play. play. So Wano's going to remain closed until Luffy 
is able to settle everything and get the one piece. That character development, bro. From Mononosuke? Yeah. <laughs> he's thinking. He's actually thinking. What do you think? From the last time when he went. So when Kaido was punched by the Monkey King gun, the clouds immediately dissipated and Onongishima was falling. And then Mononosuke just screamed, come out, clouds, damn it. And then phew, plot armor. Plot armor, bro. I was like, yeah, Oda, kind of weak, bro. Yeah. <laughs> kind of weak. I will agree with you, character development, because that's actually smart thinking, right? Yeah, now. he's he's actually thinking, thinking about ahead. his country and mm-hmm. he's thinking about the people. He's like, yeah, we just went through this. Yeah, work. Yeah, like we're at the top, bro. We top, but that means that we got all eyes on us. We're a target, yeah. so close the borders, we can't get in. And CP Zero was there, and when Kaido before the before they clashed, Luffy and Kaido, that's their that last CP Zero member. He did. He dashed off. Yeah, he's like, so, I chief. I'm out. Do you think that there's an art like Marines nearby? Yes. Because he's there. Yeah, he's there. So someone's there to pick him up. Yeah. yeah. And I think they did show like boats before. So there something. might already be there a... might already be surrounded. That's what I think. And that's that I forget that, but okay. Yeah. That's no, what no. maybe Momo knows. Because I'm like... pretty sure he's not gonna what's it called? Airwalk all the way to some land. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's someone there to pick them up, and I don't know if they already have backup. And plus, if they want to come at us, hey, bro, Zunisha's there. You big yeah. ass elephant right there. Like, come on, little ships. <laughs> Just touch the water. Toma. Tsunami. Look what he did to Jack, bro. Jack was one of the commanders. He wrecked him, bro. Just. Toma, Jack. Orewa, Jack. So after Mononosuke talks to Zunisha, yeah. then all of a sudden he's like, Oh, he starts trembling and he's yeah. all like, is that an earthquake? And from there, we cut to what might have seemed the reason. And then there's an explosion inside of Onigashima. And it's the fodder characters of Kaido. They're part of Kaido's crew. They know Kaido. They've probably been working for Kaido for a long time. So they still it's probably hard for them to believe that Kaido's to been... accept yeah. defeat because they know that that's the guy, bro. You don't take him Strongest, out easily, bro. bro. Like, he's, bro probably to them, he's never lost. Yeah, so, so he's like... Nah, They're bro. like, hey guys, we still outnumber y'all, bro. And Frank is all like, all right, <laughs> like, I got plenty of oil in the tank, kids. Come on, bring it. He's like, I got gas in the tank, bro. I got my Coca Colas, bro. And uh, Brooke is like on the suits. side holding him. Yeah. Oh, He's speak- like, no, wait, 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 Frankie. Chill out, bro. And speaking of that, what if Brooke, when he looks at uh, Zoro, he's like, hold on, hold on. And goes into his soul form and he sees death. Like trying to drag Zoro's soul. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 it's okay, bro. Leave him, leave me. Hey, what up, cut? I got this, bro. You, you could leave him. You can go, bro. I and got death this. is all like, all right, cut. <laughs> Looks like me. All right. The reason why Brooke was stopping Frankie is because Yamato steps in like a boss that she is and is all like, Oi, fodder, our general just stopped Onigashima from falling. General being Momonosuke kind of like basically saying stop biting the hand that fed you but like someone just spared your life someone just saved your life so don't go wasting it yeah. by rebelling and if not yeah i'm gonna deal with y'all personally <laughs> one of them is all like hey why are you talking like you're on their side <laughs> and bro, they don't know they haven't they didn't read through the last couple yeah. of chapters <laughs> they're like master yamato why are you talking like you're on their side man <laughs> Orale ese, que, que tienes, bro why you with them, huh, girl? Charlie Holmes. <laughs> and Yamato's like, yeah, I'll beat you into a bloody pulp if you try to mess with us. And yeah, like, so ah, just accept defeat. Orale, vato, okay, okay, está bien, está bien. So they chill down just because of Yamato. So they respect Yamato. In they a do. Sense. So Yamato, her only real fight was against Kaido. Kaido. But she put up quite the fight. So she's not weak by any means, especially if these soldiers yeah. listen to her. Yeah. She's so that goes to show that she boss. Yeah, she's master. That's master Yamato to use. As Yamato tells him, like, I'm going to beat y'all down if y'all keep rebelling. And then Onigashima itself starts experiencing. Because remember, Onigashima's already on land. Whoa. So Onigashima starts shaking. So it cuts off and we see Kaido and Big Mom in silhouettes, which appears to be already in the lava. At the bottom. And it's not like Terminator where they're like... No, they're still... <laughs> They're still oh, alive. So in other words, her body was able to withstand lava, bro. Possibly. And then it cuts back to another area, which is the Udon prison place in Wano, where Luffy was being kept. And then they're all like, hey, bro, there's an earthquake. Whoa. And then the next panel, boom, the big ass eruption from 
underneath the water. Everybody can see this now. Because before, uh, Bet Boy, in one of the videos that we recorded, uh, he mentioned, like, how is the people in the festival because they're like right offshore they're yeah. still far but he's like how are they not seeing all of these like explosions of hockey this loud this loud battles and, like it's dark there's no lights only in that festival and they're probably still far off so that explains that but there is no ignoring a big ass volcanic eruption they're like oh, uh, oh my oh. god and then they have a nice peaceful because there's a little panel and it's just luffy just sleeping Peace all peaceful so there's this chaos dead. going he's dead <laughs> a peaceful look of luffy who might be dead so then mononosuke he's telling the people of wano like he comes in his dragon form like hey don't be alarmed don't be alarmed and they're like kaido <laughs> he's pink <laughs> But uh, yeah, Bonanoski's like, don't be alarmed, people. Like, this isn't uh, like that wasn't a, like a, it wasn't a fiery explosion or it wasn't an attack or anything. It's the final send off. It's the final, final send off of the Beast Pirates. Bet that's nice. The final send off of the Beast Pirates because they've been defeated and the people. It's a big dragon, so like, nah, you Kaido. <laughs> yeah. You may be pink, but you can't fool me. So all of the people are freaking out because they think like, especially for the ones that wrote those notes, like, I hope Kaido's defeated. Get rid of Kaido. I go get rid of Orochi. They're probably like, oh, crap. They read our crap. <laughs> they're like, Ooh, run. They're, everybody's panicking. Running. Way. So then you see a big poof, bunch of white smoke. What usually happens when they uh, go back to their normal form from their dragon form or his dragon form or any Zoan who transforms like hybrid or whatever. Sometimes you see a puff of white smoke and that's what happens because he's puffed the magic dragon. Mononosuke looked pretty big in this page or in this panel, but I think because he looked tiny compared to, well, smaller than yeah. Kaido. But when he poofs back into his regular form before we could see that, you see a silhouette of some individuals, which obviously are the scabbards, the all, of, all of uh, the Kozigi clan's Not all retainers. Of them. Most of them. Some of them are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them. Oh, that's true. Some of them are incapacitated or dead. dead. Yeah. <laughs> and the first one, once the dust clears, the first one the people see is Kumurasaki. Kumurasaki, like, we held a funeral and everything. That's You're a ghost. You're dead. <laughs> You're supposed to be dead. Shut up, old man. But then some of, some of the... The, the simps, some of the simps. He's like, there's no like, faking that beauty. Uh -huh. <laughs> the freaking hearts. <laughs> the freaking hearts coming out of their eyes. Freaking yeah, that was, simps. That was pretty funny. That's best girl though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Denjiro. And then someone comments like, Denjiro. Wait, where's your pompadour, dude? That's the one thing. Like he's all bl <laughs> blooded, <laughs> bloody, bruised, beaten. Hey, bro, your pompadour is gone. Well, no. Like, you can say shit. Well, no shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> but then you know, it's all like, calm down, people, calm down. Like a lot of things are hap has happened besides my hairstyle. It's a long story, but before we get to the story, let me introduce to you the new Shogun of Wano. Me. End of chapter. So chapter ten fifty one will be. We'll finally get to see Mononosuke how he looks in Maybe. full grown form. Maybe a full man. I think with the mind of a child. <laughs> hey, just like Raftalia. One of the things you did forget to mention is when uh, when Luffy's peacefully sleeping, we get comment box from Oda saying in the battle of Luffy versus Kaido winner, Straw Hat Luffy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was falling, when he gets caught by uh, Yamato early on, it says revised winner Luffy. He puts it twice on there. The first time it says revised. Yeah. And then the second time it says like winner straw hat Luffy. And I the second time he put it because the volcano blew up and I'm like, they're not dead. Oh, that's why he did it. Yeah. So in, when he was falling, he's like, okay, revised Luffy won. One, one, and then the volcano blew up. Decisive victory. <laughs> Luffy, Luffy straw hat Luffy. Decisive because... We were, we were discussing this when we first read it. Did Luffy just kill? <laughs> Did Luffy actually just kill someone for the very first time? Because inadvertently, by him punching Kaido deep into the volcano, into the ground, into the magma, he inadvertently killed him if he is dead. Maybe? That's why I'm like, that's why I don't think he's dead. Because yeah. Oda said Luffy would never kill. That's not his yeah. thing. It's to crush people's dreams. That is his thing. <laughs> and Yonkos are 
known Pretty to survive yeah, the mag most, even magma. Yeah. Well, there's only been one case of that. Whitebeard got punched right in the freaking face by Akainu, and the lava burnt off half his face, which was in the anime. In the anime, they didn't make it look as gruesome, but in the manga, half his face was kind of like gone, bro. So, and he survived it. This is Big Mom and Kaido basically swimming in lava. <laughs> yeah, at this point. So, all right, guys. What I was telling him, what's crazier? Them getting killed by a volcano erupting or the fact that they survive a volcano erupting? <laughs> I don't want them to be dead because I because I, I, I'm like nah like that it doesn't work out. But at the same time, if they were be, if they were to die, poetic justice, bro. They died exactly like Odin did in a in almost like on in fire. A, well, yeah, Odin fire. got shot in the head. Unless someone just shows up and be like, hey, it's Kaido. Well, Blackbeard, <laughs> Blackbeard, double <shows> tap. <laughs> <laughs> he always got a double tap, bro. Whoa, whoa, that'd be crazy if for some freaking reason Blackbeard pirates were offshore and he goes and he takes their devil fruit powers. But how? Nah, I don't think so. He's like, how's he gonna? Because that's what he waited for, Whitebeard. You know, if you think about it, I think Big Mom's power is more absur absurd. It is than it's super absurd than yeah. Kaido's. Yeah, because she's yep. just like, I'm just gonna take half your time. No, so she can use it to heal herself. It's yeah. crazy. It's OP. It's OP as heck, my guy. Will they come back? That's the biggest question. So far, we've seen some villains come back, but has allies, as usual, we're shouting tropes. The power of friendship. Okay, half of the Yonko are gone. The only Yonko left is Shanks, Shanks and Blackbeard. Beard. But Blackbeard is like doing his own thing, right? He don't really care. Shanks is pretty much the only legit Yonko. Yonko cause he's, so. And I feel like he's the one currently trying to keep the peace the the sort of stabilization that there is in the world whatever is left of it after this <laughs> this is basically going to be leading up to the biggest battle of all, of all time yep yeah by the end of one piece by the end of all this i don't think pirates yonkos i don't think any of that's going to matter so the fact you could say that the yonkos on this day yonkos were done jt are they dead or are they coming back that's the question I was asking you. Oh, then <laughs> if they come back, Eric, are they coming back or are they dead? I think they're coming back. Not as allies, though. They still are going to mess stuff up later on down the road, but I don't think they're dead. I think this is the last we see of them. Any involvement in the story, but they survived and they'll just try to pick up a new life where whatever new <laughs> world is after the one piece. I don't believe that for a second. Why would you say that? What is your thought process? Because I that? want to get that they're, they're they're the past now. We they surpassed them, kinda. But you know, we move on. We don't look back. They can come back as allies. I wouldn't nah, mind that, nah, nah, but I, I don't want that. that. I I would mind that a lot. Like, yeah, that's stupid. Like I would not like them because they're still cool, right? I still want to see a little bit yeah, more of their cool. power, but yeah. they're OP. Like for some reason, Shiryu is like an OP badass. Apparently. And takes down everybody and then Kaido shows up and is all like, I'll take him. Nah, that's Zoro's that's Zoro's opponent right there, bro. That's Zoro's opponent. Or what if Mihawk plot twist betrayal for them and then Zoro's all like, I'll take on Mihawk. Dang, that'd be crazy. But Mihawk's the type to not get kinda like It's kinda solo. It's he's solo. He's isn't it so weird guy. that he doesn't have a crew <laughs> that we he's, know of? He's a one man crew, bro. That's all he needs, bro. He's like that way, he, hey, he might side with the Marines. He's all like, yeah, I'm going to test Zoro, so I'm just going to side with the Marines just for that. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, I'll help y'all out just to fight my student. That's it. We have already allies, and they're young. They're the future. They're the supernovas. So if you want to include other supernovas to the story, not op a poof screw that guy yeah he's dead he's dead to me he doesn't exist yep so screw that guy but anybody else come join them and hawkins help hawkins sucks he's dead and to to help the fight the world government for the upcoming battle or you still got his dad you still got the liberation army uh, so oh you mean uh luffy's dad yeah dragon, dragon. so but yeah no big mom and kaido they're done this is their story they're gonna have to take this entire time to recuperate because even though they survived that i think i don't think they're gonna be unscathed like that's gonna hurt yeah so like we're gonna need a long recuperation time but then kyle is gonna wake up he's like did i die still alive sir and they're like <laughs> he king's looking at him he's like bro you just got aced bro <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, what if uh, Luffy fights Akainu and right when Akainu's all like, just like your brother, kid, and then Kaido shows up, <laughs> takes it <laughs> takes for him. It. Well, they told me that your brother died like this, so I was hoping it was going to happen, but it doesn't happen again. So, all right, Sorry. kid. Toma, Thunderbagua. <laughs> But I just need, I need that closure finally, bro. I just need closure. On what? Guy. Like, I just, I want to see what happens next. Like, come on, bro. But to Wano's who? has been like, I want to know, I, I want to know that Luffy, not Luffy, that Vivi's dead. Vivi's dead, Mike. Oh, well, you want to know what happens? Yeah, like, the next I just time. want, I just want no, Wano I, I, to come I, I into it. I thought you meant like Wano, because that, that, it's not part of Wano. No, I just want Wano to just come to a close close i just yeah. i want to know where's sabo bro sabo sabo so you want to move on that's what i'm saying on, you yeah. want to move on i want to move I want on that bro. too i yeah. want to move on so that's not closure that's moving on yeah so like <laughs> wano is now officially the longest one piece arc and we will not see the end of it, it still hasn't closed in so. the anime until like five years from now i pity all anime watchers so this entire time one, uh one piece every time a chapter had dropped after luffy reached gear five it's been trending oh every Globally. single time every single time after gear fifth one piece has been continu continuously and consistently trending worldwide i bet this fight got people into one piece like if they weren't fans of it they just wanted to be like oh Man, no what for is sure this? for sure it did because I literally have proof like one of my coworkers saw news about like uh, gear fifth and him going gear fifth he is now watching one piece because of that and he's like wow like this is crazy and he got to the part with the dog at the beginning he's like oh my god bro i'm crying like he's never cried in anime he's like shed tears for this i'm like that is sad <laughs> i pity that fool for watching the anime read bro <laughs> But anyways, with that, guys, come to the conclusion of this video. We had a great discussion about this chapter, One Piece 1050. We'll catch on 1051 on the next review. And until next time, guys, out.